we thought it would be appropriate to invite uh, this young man to the show today because he did something I've never experienced before. Um, he took us through a course about wines, you know, its history, the wines, makeups, uh, grapes, red uh, wine, white wine, um, the bubbly wine, champagne, champagne and, and and his his presentation was so amazing that I, 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 I never really had that deep of an interest in wines. I always thought that it's great to drink wines in fancy places as a symbol of some type of status and that I made it, right? But to learn the history and the science behind wines was very enlightening. He was at Heather B.'s house recently when we were celebrating Horses' bir birthday. Mm -hmm. You guys may have heard the stories, the, you know, the false narratives that I ate all the king crap. <laughs> and so our <laughs> guest here, <laughs> who was the, the, sa the sommelier. 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 Say Sommelier. 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 Okay. <laughs> Please welcome Mo Watson, a.k.a. Mo the Harlem man. Wine God is here. If you yes. ever need anything that's dealing with wine, you in, or you in New York or even anywhere in the country, this man can actually mail you boxes of the finest wines. Yep. Isn't that amazing? He's smelling a box for me. Personally Actually. curated. Personally yes. curated. Yes. Mo, Love. welcome to the show. Get Appreciate his man around. Finally. Appreciate you. Finally. Yes. yes. Mo, Appreciate you. Let's, let's, why God in the flesh, here I am. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah. In the flesh, let's huh? let's yeah, yeah. start with the truth. <laughs> okay. How long have you known Heather B? Ah, uh, man. You know, we go back a few years now. I want to say... 21? Two, two, three? Well, three we, years. We, 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 so we've we known each other three years now. Yeah, 24? I took your class in 21. Yeah, three mm -hmm. years now. How yeah. many times have y'all hung out in that three years? Man, I, I, I mean, I don't know. A few times because I'll be running down on Heather. She, okay. She, she'll be like, yo, I'm at this restaurant. This is their wine list. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, I happen to be around the corner. I'm just going to pull up. And then I'll. I run down on them. Yeah. That's dope. Y'all friends. Y'all like friends. Yeah, Lord, yeah. he invites me to Nick's games. Oh, that's a your lot buddy. of times when I'm out at a restaurant, oh, I'll send him. I see what you're doing, Sway. Yeah, yeah, Mo. Yeah, Mo. Holla. Yeah, Mo. It's not happening. Mo. Oh, it's not happening. snap. It's like your sister, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, it is. okay. It is. So then your testimony is, you know, I knew he's you're going to throw you out the courtroom because he ain't going to tell the truth about the King Crab Legs. Trying to say he biased? Yeah, he biased. He a witness. Mo, you going to tell me I ate all the King Crab Legs? I know at one point during the class, you know, we all took a break and uh, everyone ate. Yeah. And then, you know, everyone's done eating. The class resumed. Right. And uh, someone was still trying to to eat. To get to cracking. Yeah, you know, all you heard was like like crunching much in the background. You know? <laughs> who's, 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 who's doing that? So I, you know, it's, it's not my house, so I was ignoring it. So, but uh, <laughs> being a professional. Did, did it bother you, man? I'm just saying. You know, <laughs> it was there. It, it, it was, it it was quiet. It happened. It definitely happened. So after that, I ain't seen no more crab legs. So oh I don't know. God. I don't know. <laughs> come on, come on. Man, I don't I'm know. out. I'm, I'm out. out. I'm tapping I'm out. I'm out of this conversation, man. <laughs> Damn, I apologize, bro. Uh, that's what we've been waiting <laughs> I on. I apologize, that's so man. I didn't know it was that loud. Good, what do you mean? I didn't know. It's crazy. It wasn't like there was no mic in front of me. It wasn't for my... And, well, and so it was at the back of the table. <laughs> I'm, on the, I'm on the other side of the room. It's, you just, you know, but it's cool. We worked right, it man. out. We figured it out. Let's talk wine, brother. Let's talk wine. Here, Heather, go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Let's resume the class. Well, as Sway said, one of the reasons, um, the reason why I know Mo is because I took his class. Mm -hmm. It was an amazing class. And uh, I learned a lot about wine that evening that I just did not know. And in particular, how wines are made. I was shocked, and I hope he jumps right in to talk when he talked about in the class the process of wine. Mm -hmm. And what sparked my interest, because as most of you know, I don't eat meat, I don't eat beef, I don't eat pork, I don't eat chicken. And as he stood up in his class, he said, you know, so a lot of wines are made with fish guts and pig parts. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. just thought to myself, how? Like, that doesn't even make any sense. And Wine so, is made with pig guts. Fish guts, guts. and pig parts. It's, it's a, well, so, all right, well, let's do it. Let's Weird, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here, here we are. So, uh, <laughs> you would think all wine would be vegan because there's no, there's no animal 
process during to it, what you think. But ideally, after fermentation, the wine comes out cloudy and quote unquote dirty. So there, there's a process where they gotta sort of filter out and clean the wine. Mm-hmm. And what they do, they add protein to it. So the protein could be uh, fish protein. Like there's there's one called uh, icing glass, which is uh, fish fish bladder. It's a protein, or or, or you know just gelatin. There's uh, was uh, what was the word? Casing, which is uh, like pork, the pork, pig pork intestines, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. pig intestines. There's there's egg whites in it. So there's there's all that in the wine to to filter and process out all the uh, you know the dead dirt? the dead oh. yeast oh, uh-huh. that, 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 that happens to it, and then and then <laughs> they 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 filter it right. But since they put that in there and they filter it, there's no way to, to completely know that it's out of there oh. or there's no traces of it. So it's it's just in the wine. And now a lot of winemakers don't say that or tell you this information because it's, it was just common practice which is why when people make vegan wine they go out their way to say hey my wines ain't have none of that shit in it not to say it's any anything bad about it because the, the vegan option is instead of using all the uh, animal proteins they'll they'll use uh charcoal or or clay mm-hmm. so sort of like or wood chips so it's like pick your not to say pick your poison but you know yeah pick your pick your poison on it. I, I i'd rather not have the pig guts i mean in the gelatin I understand, I understand, yeah man. it's I'm, all wine so it's it's a common practice it's one of the four for sure how do we know the wine that was processed without the it will the have pig? i don't you will have this i don't know. a label that'll say vegan vegan so on it on the it, back yeah, of the this is this is a Spanish, okay. so it says vegan in Spanish, but so it, yeah, it, it, have, it, when have you a, have when you have this, but as Mo explained in the class to citizens and anybody listening right now, that it costs money for manufacturers right. to have this V on each bottle, almost like three dollars more per bottle. Mm. And so, if your company trying to make money, do you want to spend that extra expense on that, in, uh, on, right. on that to, label just, just to, to let ha- the masses know that, like, hey, we are vegan, like, we're stepping out and doing that? So, a lot of times, it's not to say it's a price game, but with any uh, regulations, you got to pay for the certification. Mm-hmm. And that's one of them. So a lot of people practice, they sustain, they may not have the certification, so they, they'll just put out the product, you know, as is, and some people go the extra mile and go hold, go for it and pay for it. Hmm, this is interesting. We got the Harlem Wine God is here flesh, with us, M- Mo Watson. We're going to talk more wine. Let's yeah. Go, All go. right? So does that turn you off, Sway, about wine because yes. you want... Oh, okay. <laughs> now, I don't want to have. You can do vegan wine. I'll do vegan wine, yeah, but yeah, I, I, yeah. it has to be vegan wine. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, sure I, I don't, don't want to, unbeknownst to me, be consuming pork <laughs> uh, well, byproduct. You, humans are so interesting. Like I'm fascinated as to how the very first person started experimenting with like fish guts to clear the clouds in a wine. Like a what the process. hell? I don't know. I think That's it's very normal. innovative, and I appreciate the extra macros as someone who loves some protein. Okay. So, so I'm talking about. It. So I'm talking about <laughs> There's an upside to so it. I'm about. So how much more <laughs> if if Tracy and I went into the store or well let's just say this I wanted to buy Tracy a bottle of wine Correct. and I wanted it to be a vegan bottle. Correct. Um, how much more would I be spending? Um, per per bottle. Let's just say this bottle in the middle is twenty. How much would the vegan option be about? 20. It doesn't. It doesn't affect the price. So it's not. A, it's not a. It only costs oh, nice. the manufacturer. Yeah, yeah. So it's about how how you make the product. So if we're if our history, our family history was making it this way. Yeah. This is just how we make it. This is what it is. Uh, you, it's a, you know you got to grow your plants differently. You got to farm differently completely. Mm-hmm. Uh, to go not to say go go clean, but to 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 go that way. So it won't it won't cost any more on a bottle. Of this the particular wines I have today, they're all sub twenty dollars. So you can you can get find great wine of less than twenty. You can also find more than 20 if you want, but there's, there's, it doesn't affect the price to that point where you got to be like, oh, shit, it's vegan now, now it's more expensive. And that's not the, that won't be the case. Okay. Um, if I'm a beginner wine drinker, yes. w- how would you introduce me I would, to I selecting would, a wine? I, I would like. start talking to you about like what you drink. Uh-huh. So let's do it right now. Okay. All, All right. right. Okay, right great. Now. Let's do great. it right now. I'm with it. Hey. Since you missed the class. Hey, uh, yeah, I know you was eating, right? So yeah. Nah. Damn, Mo. <laughs> she lives in Jersey. We live in Harlem. Damn. All right. Come well, on, man. I'll say this, back. though. You live in Harlem, but you made sure to tell me you was from the Yay area. So I, I was like, okay. Wow. That's I, I, true. Understood. That's understood. True. That's true. Understood, man. I'm an Oakland guy yeah, in Harlem. I know. I know. So it's not the, it's not the same. They love me. We're going to get on topic. So. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, okay. What do you drink? I like. Uh, and I'm talking about everything. I'm going, alcohol or just water? Everything. Everything. everything, everything, uh, everything. I drink Even a lot. Juices? 
Yeah, I drink. I drink. Um, what do I drink? I drink water. I drink apple. Drink green. I drink a lot of green juice. I drink a lot of green juice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I drink pineapple juice. Uh-huh. I drink a lot of green juices. Um, Love ginger, lemon. I like ginger. I uh, like lemon. Heaven how, knows. How are you with uh, like uh, uh, seltzer water? Like it's acid. Uh, acid. Uh, I don't like soda any longer, but right. I've been learning to like uh, the seltzer water because what's the green bottle mountain? The, oh, Mountain Valley. Mountain Valley. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. In my neighborhood, they, they don't water. sell it flat. They only sell it with, sparkling. The, with the sparkling. It's not flavored, is it? Because I had the flavor one. The flavor one is trash. I, the, the I had the lime flavor. Oh, oh. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> but, but you're okay with the bubble size. You're I don't mind the, the bubble size. So I, just so for that alone, right? That folks, the fact that you mostly do juice. You okay with the acid? I will. I will start steering you towards a uh, fruit forward, high acid white wine, just to just to just to get you started. And that's what you like. That's what I like, bro. Well, this is you know who you talking to, right? <laughs> the Harlem <laughs> Wine God. I'll start you off with that, and uh. and not to get you too lost. I would, I would do like a, a the, like the reasoning we had from from Washington State. I like that reason. And uh, uh, it's a it's a nice introduction. I wouldn't go Chardonnay because the body's too big mm-hmm. and the fruit is too much, mm-hmm. and you'll 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 get lost or misconstrued as far as uh, what's sweet and what's oaky yeah. in the beginning stages. That's that's so. But again, you just starting out. I'll start you that way. I'll introduce you to a bunch of uh, Washington State Rieslings, and then switch you off to something like a, a Torontes with similar characteristics, meaning uh, being fruit forward, mm-hmm. but high acid, but from a different part of the world. Okay. And then, and then you know, have you drink more of those and push <laughs> you on to something else. And then now you expanded your palate to where you start to fine pick, like, you know what? I only want the pear fruit uh-huh. or, or I want more acid or I, I like the salinity that I get from the Riesling. So I'll, can you point me more towards that way? Then it's more reverse meetings and so on and so forth. And then now you're, now you're, now you're drinking wine. Now, now you're drinking wine. Wow. You, you sound drinking? like a doctor. It's like a wine. prescription. That's the, but that's the Harlem wine guy. <laughs> I was going to ask a question <laughs> why you crack open a bottle. So, 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 well, let's go. We'll come back and crack okay, the bottle. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. We're going to come back and crack it? Let's come back let's and crack. crack. But what would you want to say to him? I was going to ask, what do you want to start with? Uh, white, red, rosé. The white, since white, you said sorry, white. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay perfect. 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 Yeah, All right, cool. All right, 888-742-3345. All you want to know about wine, hey, we got yes. it right here. I'm so much more enlightened about wine uh, just from our conversation right now. Right. We determined that I like a white wine. Yep. Yes, fruit forward. Uh, fruit forward, but also <laughs> like a dry white. I got a Correct. South African dry white once, one nice. year, and it just blew me away. It was nice. the mm. most appealing wine I had. It's You're going to say that a lot through your life. Yeah. The more you drink, the more you'll be like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. In a good way, in a good way. And that's that's one thing that made me uh love wine is that you you or it's always a new experience. Mm-hmm. You never you never ever gonna truly know it all. Mm-hmm. And you you know, you're gonna drink something and be like, yo, this motherfucker's going crazy yeah. that made this. This is what the fuck is this? And yeah. Then, yeah. It's like a hearing a dope beat or something. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. 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 Or, or looking at a, a picture like, damn, that's that's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. you know, the Wix, the Knicks winning championship. Wow, oh, man, damn, bro. You threw off the whole analogy with that one. I thought we were speaking facts up in here, man. Uh, when was the last time the Knicks won a championship? 73. 73. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Who was born in 73? It's kind of, kind of long ago, but we know. Yeah. The next one's 2024. That's what I was told. Get the fuck out. Yo, he knows I why. Love this you don't want Q Tip call us yeah. You already he That's already told, excused man. you from a thousand dollar bet. Just just fall back. Q Tip, you slipped. You should never did that. Oop. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> should never did that. Yeah. Uh, so when nineteen seventy three. Yep. Wow, that's the last time Knicks won a championship. Clyde Frazier. Shout out to Clyde, man. Clyde Frazier. The GOAT. The GOAT with the best suits in the game. Mm. Harlem, too. Harlem. He's from Harlem. He's from well, where he, we live? Well, he's up there. You know, you know come on. <laughs> <laughs> where we live. We live in Harlem. What do you... <laughs> You stay in Harlem. I live in Harlem. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to take that. You stay in Harlem. I live in Harlem. Woo! I love it. Hey, man, them bills show that I stayed in. I lived there, it's too. It's so sweet. Yo. <laughs> know. I, I don't want to talk to Mo no more. All right, we got Uzi on the line. Uzi! My this best is friend. Heather Yo, hey. hey, Uzi. Kalani's mom. Who you want to be, Heather's uh, best? Who you want to be, Kalani's mom or Heather's best that's friend? That's not today? even a comparison because she's always Kalani's mom. Uh, or my sister. Which one you want to be? Now Uzi? you can compare that. 
I'm all three. I'm all three. Mm. Heather's friends and family all got an answer <laughs> for everything. Well, Uzi just happened to text me to say she was listening to the show. She heard Mo call him wine guard in the building oh, and about gosh. the crab legs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn, Sway. I know my sister. I know my sister is going to stay neutral on this. Not my sister, the All one right, that so, I, the one I talk to her son about every single wow. day. How much I enjoy her and love wow. her, and how close we are. Right, Lonnie Light? Don't I bring your mom up a lot? Uh, right, right. Do I not? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. All right. All right. Okay. All right, Sue. Okay. Good morning, hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Good Great, morning. Sue. Good morning, Good morning, Sue. Good morning. Thank you, Sue. <laughs> Sue, did I eat all the crab legs? So let me say this. Let me say this. <laughs> I was let me let me qualify where I was sitting at the table. All right. right? All right. I'm 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 mid table. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. The Harlem wine god is to my right. Mm-hmm. Sways to my left. Right. End of the table near the crab legs. Right. Right? right. And I'm paying attention to Harlem wine god. As you should. Right. Thank you so much, man. I learned so much from you. So as I'm sitting at the table listening to Harlem Wine God, I hear all this crackling. <laughs> Yo, it's so much crackling like I couldn't really hear oh Harlem Wine God. Oh, my God. Come on, Sue. Sue, yo, come on. Tracy G, I oh rest my, my case, yo. You're outnumbered, oh Callaway. Oh, my God. And what they all be but lying. But here, but here. But here. But here, here's what I'm gonna say. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the count was, <laughs> but I, I definitely heard the crackling. <laughs> Sue, did you have any crab legs? She's allergic. Oh, no. Okay. Mm. Lonnie Light, did you have any crab legs? <laughs> yeah, I had one. Okay, thank one, you. I didn't one, eat them all. One. I didn't eat them all. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I did not eat them all. Heather said ten pounds. <laughs> Let's get back to wine, Sue. Sue, <laughs> so why are you even calling today? She was listening. <laughs> She's listening. You could have texted me, Sue, for that. I, I love you, Sway. I love you. I love you, Sway. I thought you did. I love you, Sue. All right. So, Heather, you had Sue call for that, though. I didn't have Sue call. <laughs> Sue was listening to the show. <laughs> we got citizens everywhere. It's, yo, you started off talking about the crabs where you wanted to establish our relationship, me and Moe's, to see mm-hmm. if there was going to be some, you know, favoritism here but the facts are the facts and now we're going to jump into this wine okay we're going to do strictly wine okay so we don't need you for that see he hated Ooz. love you Ooz. i'll see you right. later love y'all yeah. so this white I, my question was going to be i think it's kind of fly when we're all out at dinner and someone knows how to pick out a bottle i often text you to say these are the choices i don't know what to pick mm-hmm. and you know and people look to me sometimes to pick mm-hmm. and i don't know what to pick so if we were at a table and this sauvignon blanc was there as an option why would i select this sauvignon blanc this particular sauvignon blanc um it's fantastic that we started there too uh everyone knows sauvignon blanc from being from a town in france called sancerre and they, they just associate that with the, the the region or the grape itself or a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. This particular one is a Chilean Sauvignon Blanc, and why you were selected, it gives you the same uh, characteristics. It's the same grape, right? So it's just planted differently, but it has the same uh, black pepper spices. It has the same ripeness. It has the same citrus. It has the same uh, lime and lemon as the Sancerre. However, it's not. It doesn't demand the price of a Sancerre. So, whereas a Sancerre in a restaurant would be about sixty-five, eighty-five dollars in a restaurant, that's you know different from retail. Uh, this will be about twenty-five, forty dollars. Mm-hmm. So you'll you'll save yourself money there as far as uh, understanding that. Now, as far as retail, being this is this is again under twenty bucks, and the Sancerre is running you twenty-five, forty dollars. And again, it's it's understanding the the grape, the Sauvignon Blanc grape, knowing it, uh, knowing its characteristics, and and experimenting and trying. A bunch of them, but this is why the song works. And what would be the food pairing? So it's I'm, I'm, I want to pour it, and, and so you all can yeah. see it. But it's okay. uh, it's a uh, I ideally uh, would just do seafood, mm-hmm. which, just because of how how excuse me, with what, this, with yeah. the Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, just as how okay. how sharp and how high acid it is. Mm. Uh, Lottie Light, so. you can't you can't. I'm passing them down. He's okay. <laughs> 21. Oh, he's 21. Okay, he's turning 22 this year. Okay. <laughs> one of the other things Mo, Mo taught us in the class is that uh, especially with whites 
that you grab your stem always and drink from your stem mm-hmm. because obviously our body temperatures warm up the wine. Correct. And so you want to always grab your whites or any chilled wine and, and have it enjoy it by the stem mm-hmm. um, to keep it. You don't want to bruise the wine is the correct phrasing. I, warm, I believe. not bruise. Oh, okay. yeah, definitely not bruise. Okay. Well, you was eating, <laughs> so it's a lot of things you just don't I didn't know. hear that part. <laughs> but so immediately when you smell it, you, I, I like to say how, how vegetal it smells. It smells like grass. It smells like like manure sort of. Like places. a very sunny day. Yeah, it's funky, mm-hmm. right? It, it puts you in a... a torch? Yeah. The torch, get a glass. You smell manure? Okay. Here okay. you go, wow. Manure. It don't smell like manure. <laughs> it smells like a field. Torch, use a glass. glass. Don't drink it from the bottle. He, wow. All right. Okay. Yeah. There you go, Torchy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Wait, wait, oh, no, 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 no. Don't pour that in a cup. You need a glass. He won't. Yeah, Mo he, was kind of yeah, a stickler almost, about cups. He, yeah. he wouldn't allow oh, yeah, to yeah. have cups. He don't want us to pour. Yes. Yeah, it's degrading. Like, what is it about it, cups? No. It, it, it will deter the, somewhat the taste. You won't be able to trust, taste the true expression of the wine uh, because of the plastic or the paper will sort of affect the, the wine. So any opportunity you have to drink wine, we should definitely aim for the glass. Glass, glass, glass. Doesn't mm-hmm. matter what glass. I mean, it matters what glass, but if you have glass, sure. I've I've gone as far as drinking wine out of a coffee cup. So right. you know. anything to avoid a paper cup or plastic. Correct. Okay, wow. so we're gonna sip this here. Yes. Okay. okay. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Do we click glasses on wine? Mm-hmm. No. I mean, yeah. Why not? I don't know. Well, shoot, you know, Mo. He was eating. Okay. This is not bad. <laughs> Lovely. This is not bad. So idea, we're definitely drinking it way too warm. Should be a lot colder. I apologize for that. Mm-hmm. But however, uh, you can tell, you can you can see how, like on the mouth, like it's it's makes you salivate, makes you want to drink more. That's mm-hmm. that's the, the the acids. I love Sauvignon Blanc. What's the what's the brand we're drinking right now? This is this is the uh, Mahu Sauvignon Blanc from Chile, from Manute Valley, Chile. It's Mahu. Mahu. M A H U. Mahu. Why, why your sound effect got ice cubes in it? <laughs> <laughs> is it a faux pas yeah, to yeah. put ice in wine? So, yes. And, and, and the reason because uh, the ice is obviously made of water. It's going to melt and it's going to change the, the taste and quality of the yeah. wine. It's going to dilute the wine to a sense. So okay. I, it is For me, it is extremely frowned upon. I know a lot yeah. of people do it, but I don't know why people I'd do rather that. just drink it hot. So a sangria falls where? Well, sangria, is a, it's, it will fall as a cocktail. Right, because it's, it's, it's wine, it's fruit juice, it's a, it's a little bit of brandy so in there. That's a, it. It's a cocktail. Okay, yeah. so you could, so the ice is excused. Yeah, it's supposed to be. All right, yeah. perfect. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so. number two. I like the. Ma- how do you pronounce it? Mahu. Mahu. M a h u. Sauvignon Blanc. I Mahu. love that one. Yeah, it's nice, mm-hmm. right? What you think, Chile. Torch? They got fish guts in this too. That's the vegan one. No, that's not the vegan oh, one. Oh no, yeah. No. So yeah. It's, it's one of yeah. One it, of the it, other. One of it's right. either. It's, yeah, you gotta accept it at this point. It is what it is. It's it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Not happy. The 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 next wine <laughs> is a hundred percent tempranillo uh, from Spain. Uh, it's called Handwork, and this is the vegan wine. Okay. It actually, comes so uh, quick fun fact. This is a 750 bottle of wine. Which one? The Mahu. The Mahu. Traditional uh-huh. regular size bottle. Mm-hmm. You see this everywhere. This is a liter size, so you get 25 percent more. Uh, okay. the, the difference, this doesn't have a spout at the bottom. We can put your thumb in the pour correctly. Yeah. It doesn't have one. But because it's a bigger size bottle, they usually don't. Okay. Oh. I put it in this one for Chris. And I guess using the thumb, you, it takes away from Correct. you're not warm. Oh, Correct. okay, cool. This is up. I actually have an alcohol question. I don't know if, if you're Tell familiar. Me. But um, so I was watching cute. something that, that was a guy was explaining how to tell the difference between real tequila and fake tequila because some of it is rubbing alcohol, you know, the cheap stuff. It, mm. Yeah. And then the guy was saying that if you take – uh, tequila, put it on your on your uh, hand, like in this little spot between your pointer finger and your thumb. You mm-hmm. rub it, and then if it thins out, that means it's it's the cheap stuff. Mm-hmm. But if it, I think it said if it forms bubbles or starts to, uh, I, f- I forgot what it was. But there's a way to like tell by rubbing it on your hand whether it's real or fake tequila. It, there is, there is. Uh, I want to say bubbles, but it, if you ever like, I guess it is bubbles. I guess. I guess yeah, it's a, it's it's like bubbles a, in the bottom of the jar or something. Yeah, supposed to I, sh- I would more so say read the label. Uh, make sure it definitely says uh, blue agave. Uh, tequila should be made from 100% blue agave. Uh, mezcal uses other different agaves, espadine, uh, tobola. But tequila should be 100% blue agave. It doesn't say 100% blue agave. Do not do that. Uh, I will stay away from from big brands. Also, a lot of times they cut yeah. corners. Any anything, we we all have to realize, r- r- rightfully, these are made by humans, right? So it's, it's a process, and you only can make but so much without. Cutting corners in some way. So if I if I'm able to sell millions and millions of bottles, 
I'm stepping on it somewhere down on, on the process to get that out there. Stepping so. on it means she cut yeah, it cheap. Cut, and, cut, yeah, cut, yeah, you know, cut, not everybody cut, talk that Harlem I'm slick I'm talk I'm you're sorry, talking right now. Man. <laughs> I got that pure. <laughs> motherfucking drug terminology you're using for wine From right Columbia. now. <laughs> Columbia. Columbia. <laughs> I know. I saw paid in full. <laughs> no, I know what you the, come from. Yeah, born and raised, man, Harlem Hospital, 1988, man, the greatest okay. jail of all time. That's great, man. I was born in Highland Hospital, Oakland, California. He said the greatest jail of all the time. Outside all right. of 1973. We, we got some, um, we got True. Greg on the line from Arizona. Oh. You got, got a quick question, hey, Greg? Greg? Hey, guys, uh, I was just going to say that you should talk about natural wine to people because I don't normally mm. drink because I don't like a hangover, and there's no, sulf, uh, no sulfate. No preservatives, naturally occurring yeast. It's like the old school way of making wine, which uh, there's no pesticides, no nothing. It's a lot healthier to drink, and you don't get a hangover from it the next day. Your uh, your name is Greg, correct? Yes. Yeah, you're partially yeah. right. Uh, there's there's no added sulfites. So sulfites is a natural byproduct of make, making wine. It's going to be there regardless. Right. And the hangover usually comes from the amount and the alcohol you you consume. You can you can drink. Uh, a bunch of wine and I have a hangover whether it's natural or not it, it's just uh, how much you drink what makes wine natural it's 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 always natural the the term's been marketed to where it became a selling point uh mm. if I grow if I grow wine in my vineyard and I, I don't you know spray any pesticides I'm just organic it doesn't mean it's, it's natural I didn't do or if I don't add any sulfites you know that's that makes it natural and naturally that's how you're supposed to do a lot of times people Add so fights they add too much to get the wine to actually make it here to the country from the vineyards. Otherwise, it'll, it'll spoil. It won't make it. So again, so fights is, is naturally in the wine. It's, it's always in there. The problem is when they add more or too much. That's when you get uh, fucked up. Hey, hey, Greg, do me a favor. You should follow um, the Harlem Wine God at yeah. Harlem Wine God. He's actually sending me packages, and he he can send you a curated package as well. I got you, Greg. I got you. You got it. All right. All right. Cool. I, have, I appreciate you guys. All right, Greg, you're a citizen, brother. Sway in the morning. Really quickly, I have a question coming in, too. What wine should I drink as a vegan rosé, bubble or bubbly, light and crispy? I, uh, off the top of my head, I don't, I can't think of a vegan rosé, uh, bubbly, off the top of my wow. head. Uh, I can't, I can't think of one off the top of my head. If you, you go, you may have to just bite the bullet and drink regular champagne. I understand, you know, you probably don't want the, the, Fish bladder, but there's 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 a there's a natural there's a natural wine. Uh, damn, I'm drawing a blank on their name, but there's a there's a company who does it produces the natural champagne. I believe it is. Uh, fucking, it's gonna come back to me, but okay. I, I can't think of their name. All right, right now. all right, we'll move on to wine okay. number Let's two. Let's wine number two. Uh, what is this called? So it's called Handwork, 100 percent Tempranillo from Spain, as I was saying. So this is the vegan red, uh, liter bottle. Red makes me sleepy. It should. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm not unusual. Here. Okay. All right. Why should it? It's the the concentration of alcohol, the the the, the tannins, the heaviness. I love a good red. Me too. I can I can do a, a do few. red man. I'm light. I'm white. So this particular red is white a, boy. It's a light red. <laughs> yeah, white. You call it it's, white boy just now? Yeah, we did, well, I'm still yeah. a Rick Ross's line. No boy. respect, man. <laughs> so ever. Now yeah, they you. calling me white boy, Lonnie Life. <laughs> <laughs> Take the that Said twice. the black <laughs> man. <laughs> Did you need another glass? Mm -hmm. Sure. All right. Okay. Yeah. We, got we, we got a few minutes to get to that third one. Yeah, yeah man, we gonna okay. go. There's okay. torches, Heather. Oh, right. you got one for torch? Oh no. I need one from. Hey, any wine drinkers out there? Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. You should be experiencing this. And, and ask a question if you want to buy a, a, a drink for someone too, a bottle. Absolutely, I'm gifting someone some wine. Also, do the service you provided, Heather, where the wine guy would come to your house, is that open to the public, or are you you're selective? I'm, I'm extremely selective. Uh, as I as I told Heather, people don't see me. That's why I say when I when I pop out, I say in the flesh. I don't usually be. I don't usually pop out. However, uh, we're, we're, I'm thinking about doing a tour, working on a tour, so people have access to come to classes. Again, my classes are few and far in between because because I don't I don't usually pop out. I do a lot of consulting. I open up a lot of establishments, but. People yeah. get to see me. Okay. Well, follow him, man. Follow him, my God. He's, people don't get to elusive. see me, dog. Yeah. yeah. You lucky you saw me twice in one month. That's <laughs> way. <laughs> Your crab eating ass. All right. Uh, let me hear. Um, oh. I like this. Well, that sounds crazy. Uh, I'm going to retract that statement. It's not yeah, that bad. Uh, <laughs> what? He thought about it. 
That's that's. One. I like this one. This is the vegan. It's oh, the vegan. Wow, I like that. Torch, yeah. you like the vegan? Vegan is better. <laughs> oh, is it is it mentally? Better you know, like, <laughs> it's, it's, like it's all in your Ment- head. Yo, <laughs> mentally, when I was drinking the other one, it tasted like seafood. Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to have seafood wow. too, like clams and. And oysters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they should like clam juice. <laughs> clam juice. Damn. <laughs> so Damn. now the vegan, what are you what are you a steak? You think steak or what with the vegan wine? What do you think? Steak with the vegan wine? Um that's I, don't, I, I don't eat steak, so it's most likely you're gonna be seafood again. More seafood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, but you do don't it. have a seafood you, taste to it. No, no. You don't, don't do chicken? You don't do... I do chicken. I'll do this with chicken, Alfredo? baked chicken. Yeah. Alfredo, the sauce is too creamy, right? So whenever you're pairing wine and food, you want to fuck with the flavors. You want to have them complement complement each other. Capers, so man. Yeah, the capers would be nice. Okay, yeah. But the, the, the being Alfredo would be too creamy. It'll just yeah. wax your palate, and then when you drink the wine, you won't taste it. So you want you want wow. something uh, like white yes. meat. I like this. I would go, I would say pork, you know? I don't know, but that's just me. Hey, Mo, he, this guy <laughs> used to drink in quarter waters and Fanta orange soda, so th- this is we, a yeah. little... What, quarter waters, you know how spicy that is, though? I'm a, I'm a tequila drinker. I like tequila. What's your tequila choice? I like... Um, Casamigos. Don Julio. Okay, I'm so... A, I like 42. Don Julio's like, grandson has a tequila called Lilo. It's a Blanco. Okay. Definitely check it out. I'm Definitely not check really out. a Blanco. I like... Dude, then um, you should check out Fortaleza. You should check out... You should start drinking mezcal in, in general. Though. I you should love start drinking mezcal. mezcal. That's, that's the way you want to go. Mez- oh, does it taste, taste like henny? Yeah. Yeah. Too spicy. Did you, you, like did you say henny? <laughs> yeah, that's what <laughs> Torch tor- like was thinking. Like does it taste smoking. like henny? You're not used to the smoking Yeah, yeah. mezcal <laughs> throw me oh, off a little bit. Man. You get used to the smoking this. That's his gauge. Yo, henny. Oh, if it tastes like henny, that's his gauge. If it tastes like henny. Hold on. We got Georgie. Pair it with a black and mild. Who is this way on the line? Yo, this is just. Oh. Welcome to Sway in the Morning. <laughs> Nothing like a nice cool swag. <laughs> this is what we do here. We apologize, Wild no, but we clown e- we clown each other at work. I feel comfortable. All right. <laughs> All right, we got Georgie's on the line from Indiana. Go ahead, Georgie. Say hey, hello Georgie. to the Harlem Wine guy. Hey, Georgie. Uh, hi, hi, guys. How are you? Hey, Excellent. having a good time. Hey, We're having a good time. Okay. I was, I was curious, have you ever tried any of the wines from the um, up the lake shore of Michigan. No, I can't say I have. Michigan has a huge wine, it's how wine country, we call it the wine trail. Okay. And that it goes up the coast of Michigan, um, of the of Lake Michigan and all the other lakes, but they have a very huge wine following, a lot of wineries there, and their wine is amazing. Off the top of your head, do you know one? Um, one that I do know is St. Julian. The other down. one is... Um, Lilanu, um, if they're called Lilanu uh, win- wineries, they have a wine called um, Witch's Brew, and that is it's a spice wine that you can actually heat up if you choose to do so. Okay, and it tastes really good. And also there is, um, you also have Tabor Hill. Tabor Hill has a chain of wine wineries up the coast of Michigan. And you have to try those if you ever in the area because I don't know if they ship to different states. I'm but if you up, ever I'm, close I'm to the area, Detroit. even Chicago, that you could get their their wine. Okay. All right. All right, Georgie. Yeah. Thank you for that information. Yeah. Man, you know. Yeah. Have a good day. Thank you. Too. You, you know a lot about Michigan. wine. So yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. My, my brother out there, he ain't tell me that. Yeah. <laughs> She almost burped at the end of all that, man. No, she hey. <laughs> sway. Yeah. No, she hey. call you back and get she you. She know her wines, boy. The only thing hey. missing was the burp. <laughs> Why are you trying to play that one this more? Is, I got a good place y'all can go. <laughs> <laughs> we got T Holiday on the line. Where you from, T Holiday? T Holiday. T, what's up, Sway and the fam? What's up, Harlem Wine God? What's Peace, good, everybody. Good, I love man. y'all. Hey, where you from, T Holiday? I'm calling from the town, Oakland, California, man. Yay! Wait, this way, Sway told you to call him? Nah. This way, this way, set this up? Nah, man, nah, man. We cousin, he don't know it yet, though. Okay. But yeah. T, what up, cuz? Yeah. What, what you want to say? Oh, uh, uh, man, I just want to say thanks for um, putting this on. And uh, two things. Uh, uh, my wife, my queen, wants to know about bi- what you think about biodynamic wines. And then, two, um, we want to hear a little bit more about black-owned wineries and, and black-owned wines. And shout out to Wacheria in Alameda, California. That that is a space that hosts and, and supports black owned wines too. Nice. Dope, dope. Uh, so how do I feel about biodynamic wines? I love them. 
biodynamics for ones those who don't know they harvest by the moon cycle so that's that's their, th- mm. their thing and they, they harvest at night they, they pick their wines i think uh i love their wines they're great uh <laughs> black on this there's, there's black on wines there's a there's a bunch like we're few and far between there's a there's a there's a lot. I mean, you guys had a few of my people up in- there, Ingrid too, Best. Ingrid Best, a young lady that worked with me uh, when she started her career now, re- released her own wine, and we have we had her up here, South African. I think it's titled I Best. I Best. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, my best wines. Uh, yeah. There's, there's Lafette. There's, Lafette, that's Donye. I mean, I'm, I'm about to make me pull out my phone. Yeah, pull man. it out, man. Pull it. Do it. So that's let me Donnie. ask you, um, Ing- <laughs> do, do the black ownership, are they working in unison? Are they helping each other out? Are they sharing information? Are they swapping contacts? Are yeah, they, I'm, I'm saying yeah. yeah I'm not, yeah. not going to say no. I absolutely believe uh, they're swapping contacts and, and helping each other out. They're putting the I can't even talk. They're putting each other on uh, by by like immediately if I'm with a, dis- a distributor and I know my friend has wine, I'm, I'm calling you up like, hey, can you can you bring on a pallet just in, just to get it out there? And, uh, you know, I help put foot on the grounds. I'm, I'm stepping out to. <laughs> To stores myself and trying to sell these products to stores, uh, you know, you know, Instagram hating on me right now. Uh, <laughs> what what I, what I, no, I'm trying to pull up the list of everybody that I that I that the I. Black well, well, while you doing that, let's do the third wine before we. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thirsty over here. <laughs> <laughs> they try to get lit. <laughs> so the so the last wine is a, a sparkling wine, and I always bring uh, sparkling wine. I say sparkling wine because that's what it is. A lot of people get. Confused, they think all sparkling wine is champagne, whereas that's just a town and a method of style mm-hmm. of how to make uh, sparkling wine. This is a Cremant, uh, also from um, from France, but not from the town of Champagne. This is Chardonnay, uh, Chinon, and I believe uh, Petit Verdot. Oh no, not Petit Petit uh, Syrah. Not Petit Syrah. Wow. Uh, Pinot Meunet, sorry, I said Petit Pinot Meunet. Chardonnay, Chenin, Pinot Meunet. Uh, it's called Cote de Mas. It's a brew. It's a rosé. Uh, I brought it. Seventy percent Chardonnay. I brought it. Uh, one of my favorites. But I also wanted to show you in comparison to the other one at the party we had the white version, mm-hmm. and that that one was a hundred percent Chardonnay. How how the bubble size was and how big it was. This is seventy percent Chardonnay. I just want to show you the difference in that. I'm okay. going to open it and. I can, I can start naming names on the top of my yeah, head. Yeah, T Holiday still wanna, on the line. Oh, uh, so, uh, so, uh, T Holiday, <laughs> uh, T Holiday. I'm here. I'm here. Holiday, a, I don't even know you're still on the line. There's, yeah, there's the, did, there's the fat. There's did, three by way sellers. There's, uh, the Brown family estate. There's the McBride sisters. sisters. There's the. I want to shout out this woman from Indiana. I always forget her fucking name. I'm sorry. I know she probably listen. <laughs> she probably she she makes some beautiful wines. Her and her husband. Uh, it's called Intense, and all her labels they they have a. A special meaning and they have a purpose to it and I wanted to get one I'm gonna get to it before it's over mm-hmm. uh, there's, there's my man Andre Mack who has uh, Mouton Mac. Noir uh, Mouton Noir wines you know Love Drunk OPP Brooklyn uh, there's Aslina out in South Africa that's Nessa TC Biala Biali, she does great wine as well. Yeah, uh, I mean, I can keep going, but I'm, I'm that's good. At going. Holiday, also I best Ingress from Oakland too. Oh, wow, this is the Oakland, Oakland connection. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so support that I best, as will the Harlem wine guy. He, he, yeah. he, yes, thank I'm, you. I'm finding a woman online. T Holiday, well. wait, hold up. You a citizen, T Holiday? In the morning, T Holiday. I'm finding a woman online as well by the name of Treva Bostic, and she's in <laughs> Central Indiana, um, and she's making wines as well. So uh, she has. The cultured urban winery in uh, Indiana. So the black owned wine, um, well, how do you say, black owned wines? We can say black owned wines. Black yeah. Owned wineries. Are, are there are there gatherings? Are there festivals? Are there things yeah, conferences? For, yeah, conferences there's, there's, there's for black owned. There's one in D.C. I believe it's called the the Black Wine Expo. Uh-huh. Uh huh. There's one in I know there's one in uh, San Francisco. There's there, there's beautiful. definitely conferences that happen all over the world for sure. Okay. There, there, there there's there's out there. Uh, uh, one of the biggest misconceptions in the world is that black people don't drink wine, which is crazy. We absolutely do. You know, yeah. a lot of us may not know what wines to drink, or we will drink the commercial shit. But a, a majority of us uh, drink wines. We definitely drink wine. Okay. You taught us something at the party. T Holiday, have a beautiful day. You and your queen. Peace. Yes. You taught us something at the party as you opened up the bottle of sparkling. Um, because everybody wanted to hear the pop, Correct. and you said that that was a bit rude, right. and you Una- may have used the unethical? word unethical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we didn't mm-hmm. understand why. You know, I think when you buy a bottle of champagne or sparkling wine, you want to get that bottle and you want to pop bottles. You want to hear that sound, and pop you said, bang. yeah, you said it was unethical. Yeah. Why so? What's your theory behind that? It's it's extremely dangerous. <laughs> the, the, there's so much carbon dioxide in the bottle. Uh, 
due to the process of how you make sparkling wine is that when you hear it pop that way, it's mm-hmm. because it's it wasn't open properly. So oh. Wow. Damn, hip hop been popping <laughs> bottles for decades <laughs> in, in properly. Damn you, Ron Brown. <laughs> <laughs> so when you when you're popping it, you one, you you risk shooting someone in the eye with the cork. Uh-huh. Uh two, you damn near waste half of the, the product because it'll shoot out trying to escape the bottle. This but, is my uh, favorite. Torch, Jeez. you got the last question. All right, so I'm going to go to a hood classic. Let's go. <laughs> Ripple? You no, going to bring no, on no, Ripple? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, my bad. Uh, <laughs> like, come on, dog. They, this they, is a they, professional. They call it Grape Henny. What's the oh, deal with Teleport? My. Oh, man. Where, so, where did that fall in? Teleport place? is a, <laughs> I, as, I, as I taught in the class, there's uh, types of wine. We, we just see wine and we see wine. There's table wine, sparkling wine, fortified wine. Port, uh, port falls under the fortified wine category. It is... Roughly between 18 and 24 percent alcohol. There's tons of sugar added to it. So why is it the purple Hennessy? Because it's sweet and it's high in alcohol. And and you know, drink it, that's, right. that's yeah, it's over. It's terrible. You shouldn't drink that. Right? Yo, oh, this has been amazing, Mo. <laughs> Citizens, hit them up at yeah, Harlem yeah, yeah, Wine yeah. Guard. We yes. got a, a quick class today just to give you some idea. How, um, summer, spring is here. Summer's coming up. Throw something in your backyard. Now you have an idea where to pick up some. Every time mm-hmm. you get a red, a white, a sparkling, That's he right. gave us great examples. Perfect. Harlem Wine God on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. You're amazing, brother. Yeah, and I, sure and you're, appreciate you all. You're, Thank a you. Thank you. You're, Thank you. you're a great educator. You really are. You're a really great educator. And relatable. Yeah. Very relatable. Uh, uh, thank you. You covered a lot in such a short period of time. Yeah. And um, make sure y'all hit them up. It's, you know, Mother's Day is coming up. Yep. Picnic or, season is here. You don't. Barbecue. You don't even need a holiday as an excuse. You don't. Man. You don't. You bring don't. a bring a bottle home tomorrow. It's Friday. And, yeah. then, and if you don't know enough about it, this man can point you in the right direction. He could curate a set. Whether you want a bottle, you want three bottles, uh, six bottles, twelve bottles. He can also send them to you uh, and do all the work for you, and you will look like a sommelier. Yeah. <laughs> Did I say it right? All right, cool, man. <laughs> Hit him up at Harlem Wine God. God. Harlem Wine God. Oh, Anything you want to say in closing, Mo? I would like to say a lot of things. Right. I appreciate you all. <laughs> uh, let's go next. Ooh. Damn. Hey. Hey. Now I'll fuck with this guy. Wow, this guy right here, boy. <laughs> I'll see you on the block. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>